It's food pantry day. Let's check on the mini fridge. We've got a lot of room in here this week, even on the door. We've got that cleared out, some room right there. I hope we find some great stuff at the food pantry. Let's go shopping and see what we can find. It's time to head out to the food pantry. This time I put my bags on the door so I don't forget them. Just got back from the food pantry and they're closed. So they're not gonna open until after the holiday. And uh, we'll see how this goes. I'm gonna try to get the video to you on Tuesday the day after the holiday, but I'll definitely be scrambling to do that. I'll just do my best for you guys. Okay, we're gonna try this again since the food pantry was closed. Let's see what we can find today. Snow. Mr. Turtle, you need a snowsuit. Hey everybody, my name is Sarah and welcome back. Now this is round two of going to the food pantry. They were open today, thank God. So please stick around so I can show you what I got this week. And it really means a lot to me when you subscribe. So if you're a new viewer, I hope I earn your subscription. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back and thank you for your continued support. Let's get into this food pantry haul. First up, let's take a look at the meats and please stay tuned for the score of the week under the little yellow towel. We have got some really good meat here. This says boneless center cut pork loin chops. Doesn't that look good? Oh yeah. Next up, let's take a look at the perishable items. This looks so good. It's a Whole Foods quesadilla. I always love to get Whole Foods items because I know that's very unusual and they're always so good. We got some cranberry sauce, hard boiled eggs. This is another Whole Foods item, lasagna. I'm gonna cook that in the air fryer. That's gonna be delicious. We got strawberry yogurt, Stonyfield yogurt. I think it was a six pack, but it turned into a four pack. I guess that's why it was at the food pantry. We got some celery pieces two containers of blueberries we got a bright farm salad and we got an evolution cucumber pineapple drink that looks so good then we got some uh, i think that's organic yeah it is organic two percent milk and we have a cheese tray and this has the beautiful little marcona almond in here and it has figs. I really like figs and almonds, delicious. And I like the orange cheese too, but I love getting these cheese trays. Really, really wonderful stuff. All of this is such a big blessing. For a look at the non-perishable items, we got this big giant bag of blue chips. So excited about that. Sliced beets. We got a can of expired salmon but it might still be good. I don't know. The best buy date was 2022. Then we got two little containers of chicken broth. I love these because sometimes I drink that at night by itself. We got some Del Monte sliced peaches, two cans of green beans, 
This was a new product I had not seen before. And it says good and gather cumin and chipotle pinto beans. That looks really good. I thought maybe I could use that with the potato chips. Then we got these cannellini beans, same idea. I could make chip dip. We got some raw honey. I don't know when this expires, but I very rarely see honey at the food pantry. So this is a really exciting item. I don't know if that's the expiration date or not. If you know, please let me know. Then we got some coconut chia cereal, granola cereal. I can understand why it was at the food pantry because it's ripped up at the bottom, but I'm sure it's in perfectly good condition. So these are some fantastic non-perishable items right here. I forgot a non-perishable Lily's peanut butter filled dark chocolate. That looks so good. And these are good until October. Now for a look at the bathroom and kitchen supplies. Technically, they're just bathroom supplies this week. I'm so happy to get these. We got two rolls of Amazon commercial toilet paper, some puffs, tissues, and then we got some native body wash. That's pretty nice. It says coastal oak and amber. So hopefully that'll smell really good for a look at the countertop perishable we got some cheese biscuits i love these things i just pop them in the air fryer heat them back up they are so good and we got a plant from the food pantry italian parsley organic and this came from trader joe's so i hope it lives live plant live ta-da the score of the week we have got Black pepper, you know I like that. Black pepper marinated pork tenderloin. That looks good to me. It says made in house. All right. And the big question is, will it all fit? Stay tuned and we'll see. So I gotta get all of this in the mini fridge. Since the food pantry was closed, my fridge is even more empty than it was before. So I think this is gonna fit just fine, but let's see how it goes. And the big question is, did it all fit? Let's take a look. Look at the mini fridge. It's stacked, it's packed, it's looking good. I got the salad on the side so it doesn't freeze. Thank you to the subscriber that recommended doing that. That's been a super big help. But all of this looks fantastic to me. I'm so glad the food pantry reopened today. Let's get this quesadilla cooked up. Look how much they charge for this at Whole Foods, $5. That's like restaurant prices. Let's give it the sniff test. <laughs> Smells okay. Could be wrong on the price. $4.99 might be a good deal. I, I don't know. I haven't gone to a restaurant in a long time. A quesadilla like this might be $10 at a restaurant. Do you know? Cause I don't even know anymore. All right, let's check on the quesadilla. Hey, that's looking good. I gotta get the big plate for this one. All right, this smells really good. Let's take a peek inside, see what it looks like. Oh, look at all that yumminess. Wow, look how beautiful this cheese tray is. Let's add some celery bites. And smell the chlorine in the water when I rinsed off the celery. That should kill anything that's on it. I like to slice this up thin. Look at the beautiful colors of that green celery against the cranberries and the cheese. I've got the quesadilla and a little fig right there. This looks fantastic. Can't wait to dig in. Lunchtime. Some hot chocolate and I've got my Beatrix Potter book out. I love these illustrations. What a talented artist. I went outside, walked around my trailer, and checked on the skirting, the corner of it. The skirting got unattached because the wind is blowing so hard, but I rigged it up so it's reattached, but it's barely hanging on. I had the twin extra long mattress set up as a day bed in the living room, and I'm moving some things around, including the lane chest. I put that as like a side table beside the sofa bed. I think I'm gonna move this 
in front of the window and I've still got the Christmas tree up and I've got it on my little pink table. So I'm just gonna try to rearrange this a little bit better because it's starting to look kind of congested in here. Let me get this all swiffered up. Now that I've got this cleared out, let's slide that over here. I think it looks okay. Let's get this fixed up a little bit. I like the tree in the corner. I think I'll do this for Christmas 2024. Hey, this is looking better. I got all my boots there. All of these boots came from the thrift store except that pair. This window gets more light, so I'm going to take advantage of this. Oh yes, this looks good. I think the petunia will like being right here. We shall see. I like this, but I think I can make this look better. I like that better. I have the plant in the center with a cream pot on either side. I like the symmetry. I just added some caulk along that big crack. I still have more to do on the sides, but I'll get to that later. I'm just doing a little bit at a time. <laughs> Looks like it's going to snow. What do you think, Mr. Turtle? Do we have snow today? It's snack time. It is cold today. I've got some decaf coffee, my little snack. I'm staying inside. It looks like it's going to snow today, and the weather forecast does say we're going to get flurries. We'll see about that. Oh my goodness. Look at this. It is snowing. Mr. Turtle, it's snowing, yay! We are gonna go check on the skirting. Hopefully it did not fly away last night. Well, it's still holding up, that's great. Well, it looks like it's sticking a little bit. Really pretty. I decided to move my Christmas tree to the other window. I think it looks really nice. Let's get these washed up. I'm just gonna add this over to the yogurt. Snack time, isn't this beautiful? All courtesy of my local food pantry. Two little yogurts plus a big handful of blueberries. Since it's snowing, I think we should take this plastic down so we can enjoy the snow a little bit more. I just kind of bunched it up and it's staying so we don't have to take it down. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, look how pretty. I'm thinking about taking the curtains off the rod and putting those little circular curtain clips on here. I think that would look nice. What do you think? This way or the other way? I love looking out the window and seeing the snow. Christmas pajamas on. I've got more of that hemp chamomile tea. I like it. It's pretty good. And I'm just watching some YouTube right now. I'm actually tomorrow going to show you the thrift store shirt that I had on the last video. I'm going to show you what that looks like. Well, here's the shirt I got for $1.25 at the thrift store last week. It fits perfectly. Remember the towels I got at the thrift store? blessed, thankful, gather, grateful. I think they're for fall, but I'm going to start using them now. We'll start with blessed. Bye-bye, fall is in the air. Just folded the little blessed towel and put it right over the blue and the white napkin. I think that looks really nice. Time to put Santa away until next year. Can you believe I got this Santa at the dump? All right, in you go, Santa. I got Santa in my old lane chest, and I'll pull him out in probably November. I think I can make this better. Let's see what I come up with. And everything moved off of here. Let's get this fabric off. I 
like that. I think it looks nice. Well, I need a little bit of peacefulness in my day, so I trimmed back the petunia. I think that's really beautiful. The fancy chamomile tea, it says that I can reuse this two to three times, so I'm just gonna reuse this tea bag. What'd you think of all that snow that we've got in? That was a big surprise. Did you like my $1.25 thrift store shirt? I think it fit pretty good. Whenever I buy something from the thrift store, I never try it on. I wash it first and then I put it on, so I've really lucked out. I could not believe the food pantry closed. That really put me under a crunch to make this video. I'm so glad to get this video out. I thought I was gonna have to do a community post saying the video was delayed, but I'm really glad to get this done for you guys. And if you are a brand new viewer, I do hope that I earned your subscription tonight. And if not, keep checking out the channel until I do earn your subscription. <laughs> I make videos every week. It means a whole lot to me when you subscribe. We've reached over 3,000 subscribers. And if you asked me a year ago if I thought this was possible, I'd probably say maybe. I'm really, really excited to watch the channel grow. The next video comes out this Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern. I hope to see you then. I hope you have a great rest of your week. And thank you so much for watching tonight's video. Take care. Bye-bye.